Do you know where in Disney World you can get a refillable moonshine bottle? Or where in Disneyland you can swirl lemon and chocolate Dole Whip? We've got some great Disney dining hacks for you today on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today we're talking about 15 weird, fun, time-saving, money-saving Disney dining hacks. The things that you can do when you're at the Disney parks to level up your dining or get something just the way you like it, or even combine a couple of cool foods to make an even cooler new food. All of these are great Disney dining hacks that we wanted to make sure you knew about. So let's start with foods from other restaurants. So believe it or not, you can sometimes get food from a different restaurant than the one you're in. Yeah, it sounds strange right? But normally if you're dining in a restaurant, you're limited to what's on the menu. But in some cases, Disney restaurants share kitchens or they're connected somehow so that servers and kitchen staff can access foods that aren't on their restaurant specific menu. And we've had a server get turkey breakfast sausage for us when we were dining at Cinderella's Royal Table, even though it's not on their menu or in their kitchen. And recently when dining at Hoop to Do Musical Review, a server went over to P&J's Takeout to get us a huge plate of fries for my son who wouldn't eat anything else on the menu. And I've also had my server at Liberty Tree tavern get me green beans from Skipper Canteen since they share a kitchen. Now your mileage definitely varies on this as it only works in certain locations, but it never hurts to ask your server if you need something that's not on the menu. They might be able to find it for you or get it for you and of course they always want to make you as happy as you can be. If you legitimately need something from another restaurant or you need something that's not on the menu, you can definitely let them know. Our next dining hack is one of my favorites, chicken and Mickey waffles at Grand Floridian Cafe. Now you won't find chicken and waffles on the menu at Grand Floridian Cafe over at Disney World's Grand Floridian Resort. But if you order the buttermilk fried chicken, which typically comes with crispy potatoes, kale, bacon, and a honey sriracha drizzle, you can totally substitute all those sides for a waffle. And you'll get a choice between a Belgian waffle or a Mickey waffle, and obviously we're getting the Mickey waffle. And you get to keep that awesome honey sriracha drizzle with some more on the side if you like. So that's a great little hack. Definitely the chicken and Mickey waffles is the best thing to get for brunch at Grand Floridian Cafe. And it wouldn't surprise me if they actually put it on the menu eventually. Next up, Mickey ears on your ice cream. This hack is super fun for the grown-ups. So at Main Street Plaza Ice Cream Parlor in Magic Kingdom, kids can order the Mickey Mouse Kids Cone, which is a scoop of ice cream and a pair of chocolate discs that make up Mickey's ears. It's super cute, and if you're an adult who still loves anything Mickey-fied, you can ask the cast member to add some ears to your cone or dish of ice cream too. So go ahead, don't be shy. Ask for the Mickey ears on your ice cream, and they will happily add them to yours as well. Next thing we've got to tell you about self-serve drinks. So very few counter service locations in Walt Disney World offer self-serve drink refills. Places like Restaurantosaurus and Animal Kingdom, Electric Umbrella and Epcot, Backlot Express and Hollywood Studios, and Chicken Guy in Disney Springs let guests get their own fountain beverages. And if you know about this, you can head to these specific restaurants for a meal or snack and get plenty of hydration at the same time. Now, we are not advocating that you steal from Disney or that you go and fill up your bottles with soda pop from these locations. But if you're like me and you know that you probably are going to drink two or three, maybe, <laughs> glasses of soda when you're at a counter service restaurant. Maybe you'll want to know about these particular locations if you're kind of kind of a camel like I am. Now the next one is the Num Num Cookie with ice cream. So this one started out in Disney California Adventure when Jack Jack's Cookie Num Num first debuted. So you grab that warm Cookie Num Num from down on Pixar Pier and pair it with soft serve from Adorable Snowman just across the way. Now you can get that Num Num Cookie in Hollywood Studios as well for a limited time only but you'll find it over at Pixar Place or Municiburg or whatever they're calling it over there, past Toy Story Land. So you can recreate this hack there as well. You'll find soft serve at Oasis Canteen over by Indiana Jones, or if you prefer hand-dipped ice cream, go to Hollywood Scoops to get that. Next dining hack is doubling up on your meals. So if you get a buffet advanced dining reservation toward the end of breakfast, cast members will often be starting to set out lunch items. So you can actually try both breakfast and lunch when you are at that buffet. Now, but you only pay for the breakfast price, but you can try both. Most restaurants switch to lunch around 11 a.m. So grab a reservation for around 10.30 or maybe a little bit later at buffet restaurants like Tusker House, Chef Mickey's, or Crystal Palace 
Alice, and you'll get the chance to try the special teas at breakfast and the special teas at lunch. Sometimes it does take about half an hour to switch over, but what they will often do is close one side of the buffet so they can switch that over and leave the breakfast on the other side of the buffet, and then they will close the breakfast side, put out lunch, blah, 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 you get it. Next dining hack you have to know about is the signature restaurant food without an advanced dining reservation. So if you want to try some of the fantastic high-end dining in Disney Springs or at Disney's resort hotels, consider getting a bite to eat in their lounges or counter service spots instead. That way you either don't have to worry about getting advanced dining reservation or you actually get the food a little bit cheaper than you would have otherwise if you ate in the restaurant. So Morimoto Asia is a fabulous, elegant restaurant in Disney Springs and Morimoto Street food is adjacent and serves up some equally yummy grub like the restaurant's ribs for less money. Also, California Grill is a good one for this tip. This is over at Disney's Contemporary Resort, and it's a tough advanced dining reservation to get, but their lounge is first come, first served. It also has the same gorgeous view because the lounge is right in the middle of the restaurant. You can order from the full menu, so even if the restaurant is fully booked for that fireworks view time frame, go ahead and try to get up in to the lounge and see if you can find a table up there instead and you can order from the menu you can see the fireworks etc etc now don't forget even if you don't get up there during fireworks time frame just save your receipt whether you eat in the restaurant or eat in the lounge itself here's an ex this is an extra hack that we didn't even put on the on the list for this one this is just a bonus hack doesn't matter if you eat in the restaurant or the lounge at California Girl save your receipt any time of the night that you eat there and you'll be able to come back and stand on their exclusive fireworks viewing deck to see the fireworks. So just come back up when it's fireworks time and you'll be able to watch from that fireworks deck. Next dining hack that nobody knows about this, and I don't know why, we love this dining hack, refillable Coca-Cola bottles. So the Coca-Cola store in Disney Springs offers a refillable giant bottle that allows for $1 refills anytime you bring the bottle in. So just get the collectible bottle the first time you're there, and then every time you return to Disney Springs, you can use it to get $1 refills on Soda Pop or Bebo or whatever you like, whatever you want. I mean, you can't beat that price. Okay, next dining hack that you need to know about. We talk about this quite a bit, but I just wanna keep it in the front of your minds because it's super important. If you're an annual pass holder or Disney Vacation Club member, get your soda and packaged snacks at merchandise locations where you can score your discount. Merchandise locations will give you a 20% discount on those packaged snacks and that bottled soda. You can't get that discount at counter service spots. You can't get that discount at kiosks that sell the same packaged snacks and bottled soda and bottled water. Water. So get that discount in the merchandise location next to the kiosk instead of going to the kiosk. If you are an annual pass holder and you're in the parks a lot, then that savings can actually really add up. It doesn't seem like much, but 20% off a $4 bottle of water does add up. Next dining hack, this is one I love and I try to kind of fit it into the channel whenever I can, um, which isn't often, but every once in a while, the picnic and fireworks. Disney's Polynesian Village Resort is a lovely resort to explore whether you're staying there or not, and watching the Magic Kingdom happily ever after fireworks from the beach at the Poly is a relaxing and fun experience, so let's just add food to it. So grab a snack at Captain Cook's or a Dole Whip from Pineapple Lanai, don't forget they have Lime Dole Whip there now too, or a Lapu Lapu from Tambu Lounge and then sit back on the beach and enjoy and watch the fireworks or bring a cooler with some champagne, cheese and crackers and fresh fruit and have a fancy snack while you're there on the beach watching the fireworks. It's a great inexpensive way to create a really memorable date night or even a super memorable family night together. Now we've got a couple of Dole Whip hacks we have to tell you about. Two Dole Whip hacks for you, actually three Dole Whip hacks for you. First up, this one's brand new and I love it. You guys might think it's gross, but I love it. So over at Disney California Adventure, the adorable snowman, we mentioned him before in this video, but you can actually get lemon Dole Whip here. Of course it's referencing yellow snow, um, but it is lemon Dole Whip at the adorable snowman. It's so good. And I like to swirl it with 
chocolate Dole Whip because they actually also have vanilla and chocolate Dole Whip here. So I like to swirl the lemon with the chocolate Dole Whip or what you can even do is get them half and half so side by side. So a pile of lemon Dole Whip and a pile of chocolate Dole Whip. So, so good. I love that super sweet richness of the chocolate with the tart citrusy lemon. It's just delicious. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it. But I'm going to give you that Dole Whip pack because I think that one's really important to know. And don't forget, you can actually also get the chocolate and lemon swirled and then get it snow capped. So get that white chocolate coating put on top. And it's really good too. One of my favorite snacks that, you know, isn't advertised and nobody talks about it. Next one, next Dole Whip hack is if you're looking to spice up your Dole Whip, try out the Tahine Dole Whip hack. First, you head to Tropical Imports in Disneyland where you grab a packet of Tahine and then head to the Tiki Juice Bar for your Dole Whip. Or you can also go to Tropical Hideaway now. That's where you can get your Dole Whip at Tropical Highway or the Tiki Juice Bar. Recently, they've started offering packets of tahine right there at the Tiki Juice Bar and over at Tropical Hideaway. So you maybe don't have to go to quite the effort that you used to have to do to create this hack. They may have it right there for you, so definitely ask. And back on the East Coast, you can grab a Just the Citrus Citrus Swirl at Sunshine Tree Terrace from time to time. And that is the Citrus Swirl minus the vanilla. So it's actually just that frozen orange juice. It doesn't happen too often that you can get this, but if you find a cast member who knows how to do it and is willing to do it, it's really delicious if you're like me and you like that super tart flavor of that frozen orange juice. So that is something that exists. It's been done before, but your mileage may vary on that one. Next hack, I love this one. This one is both coasts, the West Coast and the East Coast. You can do this. This is the World of Color Goofy's Glacier. So if you're looking for a fun frozen food hack, this one is perfect, especially here in the summer. So head to a spot that sells Goofy's Glaciers. Over there in Disneyland, this is in Candy Palace. And I think they have them a few other places. And then in Disney World, you can actually get them at Big Top Treats. And they also have Goofy's Glaciers over at the Boardwalk General Store. And of course, over there in Goofy's Candy Company in Disney Springs. So instead of just ordering one color of slush or one flavor of slush, you ask for a rainbow. You ask for all the colors, all the flavors. It's really beautiful until they get all mixed up and they just become kind of a weird brown purple color, but it still tastes really good. But uh, getting all those different layers of color at first makes a gorgeous picture. Now that they have opened Bing Bongs and Ramon's Serve Ice over there in Disney California Adventure, they kind of took that idea and ran with it at those two locations where you can now get all those different layered slushes. So that's basically the same concept. But again, you don't have like a full rainbow the way you can with the world of color slush, which is definitely still a secret menu hack. Next up, eating like a big kid. So if you're a grown up with a small appetite or picky tastes, you can order off the kids menu, sometimes. Now at quick service locations, you can order directly from the kids menu, it's no problem, or ask if they'll do an adult sized portion of a kids menu item. You'll pay an adult price, but you can still get the food that you would rather have instead of an adult entree. But at counter service locations, you can 100% order off the kids menu even if you're an adult. Now table service mileage may vary with this. Some restaurants and servers are less acquiescent as counter service locations. Now you might get a kid's menu item, but it'll almost certainly be an adult size and priced accordingly, but it can't hurt to ask. So if you see something on the kid's menu you would rather have than what's on the adult menu, just ask if you can have that in an adult portion. Now this is a classic Disney hack. Everybody's gotta know about this one. Sample the international sodas for free. Over at Club Cool at Epcot, you'll find a very fun but kind of sticky place to chill out for a while. The space here is in Future World and it's packed with soda fountains that dispense popular international Coke products. Now the critical one to try, of course, is Beverly. This one is a bitter soda from Italy that most people really, really hate, but a few people really, really love. And some guests even make a game of tricky their unknowing friends and family into trying it. So let us know in the comments, you guys, if you love Beverly or if you hate Beverly, we'd love to hear from you. We'll take a little poll in the comments. But it's crazy at Club Cool, you can just drink as much of that soda as you want. They have little cups and you try everything once, you can try everything twice, you can just stay there all afternoon drinking Coke products if you want. <laughs> 
the last hack we want to give you today, shine on. So Homecoming in Disney Springs offers a refillable water bottle. But if you think Chef Art Smith's Southern Comfort Food Oasis is just filling it up with water, you are mistaken. This is moonshine, my friends. Of course, Chef Art is famous for his moonshine, as is Homecoming. So you buy your bottle and first fill up for $22. Then you get forever refills for just $12 each of that moonshine. And remember, they have different flavors of moonshine on tap, so you can choose what you want for that bottle. So there's our Disney dining hacks. Some of them are weird, some of them are helpful, some of them are just plain fun, and some of them are actually gonna save you some money and some time. So hopefully those will help you guys on your next Disney World trip to make it bigger and better. Now don't forget to let us know in the comments, have you tried any of these food hacks? Are any of them on your list to try on your next trip? We'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Be sure to like this if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel, we'd love to have you as part of our family. And don't forget to click that notification bell so we can let you know when another DFB Guide video is up and ready for you to watch. This is AJ for Disney Food Vlog and we'll see you real soon.